The Hammocks Beach and, and Bear Island are really unique. The whole experience here is very different than a lot of our state parks. All of a sudden you've got peace and quiet and salt marsh. You don't get to see the amount of wildlife that you get to see here. It's a little piece of history, North Carolina's history, uh, not just its natural history, but its cultural history that's preserved for all North Carolinians to come and visit. What's happened in the last 20 some years is that we're seeing a lot of erosion. All that bank erosion contributes to sediment in the sound which smothers developing oysters. The marsh would be completely lost. Um, we've seen that already in some parts of the park. Some estimates show that North Carolina will lose 60% of its salt marsh by 2100. If we do nothing, that salt marsh is going to be lost through time and it's great habitat for fish, crabs, it improves water quality. We don't want to lose it. We use this concept called living shorelines that works really well because it helps to protect shorelines from erosion and at the same time we're protecting and restoring the salt marsh and oyster habitat. Native Shorelines was uh, the first company in the state of North Carolina to be started exclusively to design, permit, and install living shorelines. We've been working with Native Shorelines also for a very long time. It's definitely a win-win partnership. They're a one-stop shop. They help us um, with the whole process. And they came to us for a solution. And our solution was Quick Reef, which is a living shoreline product made of oyster shells, ancient limestone. It is made with native coastal materials. So that makes it an ideal substrate for oyster attachment and recruitment. We uh, chose Quick Reef because it provides a non-plastic material that we can put in our waters. When the shoreline goes in, some of the benefits are instantaneous. We block wave energy the second it goes in. It's amazing how fast life appears on it. As soon as we put this material in the water, it's being colonized by oysters, mussels, crabs, shrimp, all sorts of marine life just flock to it. Um, the living shoreline that was built by Native Shorelines is the longest continuous living shoreline on a single property in the state of North Carolina. So the goal for this project is to have an oyster reef wherever we put our product down. That'll be here forever. It'll protect the shoreline in perpetuity. It will grow with sea level rise, as oysters do. So healthy marsh, uh, oysters growing, and uh, a stable bank. Um, I feel like we're actually doing something that will make our coast better for future generations.